Hey, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do a eye roll transition or effect, whatever you want to call it. And it looks a little bit like this. Yo, what's good? It's been like a week since I last posted, but I, f I swear to God, bro, every time I post a new video, it's up. It always starts about my upload schedule. I'm sorry, I know I'm kind of inconsistent. Yo, I said that first try. Usually, it takes me more than one try to like pronounce things because I don't know. I think I'm just a little slow. I know I've been inconsistent. Inconsistent. <laughs> But anyways, we hit 10k. Let's go. I don't know what the percentage is of the people who are subscribed and people who watch my videos, but I just know a lot of people be watching my videos that are not subscribed. But what are you doing? Really subscribe to me. Let's just go down, subscribe, and when you're down, and just like the video. Like just like the video. If you like the video, there's gonna be more videos in the future. Trust me. Just like the video. It's literally free. It's but anyway, let's just get straight into this video. I feel like I'm talking too much. Alright, so in this video, what you're gonna be learning is how to do this effect. Literally the title. It's literally the title. Like, I don't know why I'm explaining it again, but I'm just saying it. So go ahead and import your picture. In this case, we have Post Malone, and it looks like my boy is crying, and I, I hope uh, he's okay. But I don't know if y'all saw that new song he dropped. I get the calm spirit, covered in the ice spirit. I'm at the top of the pyramid. So if you haven't um seen my edit on this effect, what are you doing? Like, are, why are you not following me on Instagram? My Instagram is 17. A lot of people ask me, yo, what does your name mean? Like, it's literally 17. Let me explain it real quick. So basically, Boring. anyways, we're going to get straight into this video. Now, you can use your own picture, but I'm going to have a download link to this picture right here. So if you want to follow with me, um, you could do it, you know. Anyways, the first thing you want to do is comp the layer, bro. I hate people who don't comp their layers. If you're a beginner, just comp your layers, bro. Just comp your layers. All right, next thing you want to do is duplicate this layer. You're going to name it. <laughs> Yo, why does that look weird? Like, you can't even lie to me. Why does it look weird? Original. Original. But why she sound like that? She sounded fancy. Hold on, let's listen to that one more time. Original. Damn. She said. <clears throat> Original. Yo, I sounded just like her. Let's do it again. Original. Original. Yo, oh my God, stop playing with me. Is this nigga serious? I'm getting too carried away. I'm sorry. If you, if you watch my videos to expect. All right, let me just shut up. Let me. Stop talking and get to the video. Imagine being a gamer girl and even though you're a gamer girl, you're eating a lollipop playing your game like you're a gamer girl. All right, so now once you have your duplicate layer, we're going to go up here and select the brush tool and we're just going to click on the first layer. Now what we have to do is zoom into his eyes or her eyes. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about like if you're editing a girl, you know. And then we're gonna go over here to the paint panel and right here where, it's, where it has this color so click on it you're gonna select this eyedropper get about a like this color so it's not gonna be white white you know and then you're basically just gonna start doing this basically what you're doing is trying to cover the eye so an eye would be a, so an so it, dumbass bro here's the fucking dictionary bro i cannot talk so now do the same thing with the other one but use the eyedropper again because the lighting is a little bit different you know okay now click off and basically you can press t on your keyboard to bring up the opacity and then when you bring it down as you can see actually it does kind of look good you don't want to cover the the eyelet the eyebrows no the eyelet are these eyebrows or eyelashes bro okay and now we're gonna duplicate the original layer bring this to the top and now we're gonna 
name this layer i right, grab over here hold this and go to ellipse eclipse oh, ellipse. brother this guy stinks but i don't know just shut up make sure you're on the eyes and then just drag it right here and try and you know make it look good so his eyes are about you can click double click and it'll go like this um let me see that's good and now we're gonna do the same thing but on this what the hell let's disable the white eyes so you can actually see and then go back to the original top layer for the eyes and we're gonna go like this or just like that you could enable the other one and that should look good see it looks a little bit weird because well it doesn't match like the original back of the eye you know but we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work now if you want it to look a little bit better what you could do is go on the eyes go down here to the mask and for the feather you can bump this a little bit maybe to one you put it one or two let's try okay let's try two okay two looks good see now it looks a little bit better well, let's try three it looks better so use three put three you can go to google and type veins png and try and get like a vein texture like thing you know um i'm gonna leave the one i'm gonna use in the description so yeah, you could just download that so if we import it this is the one we're gonna use what you could do is go to flex the presets and type in fill you can get the fill and put it into the layer and now we have red but that's a little bit like it looks weird i don't know so we're gonna drop it like right here so it's gonna be like a dark red right and now what we have to do is scale this down to about right here. i don't know why it pixelates my image so much that's good right there and then we're gonna duplicate it and rotate it and have to so about right there you don't want to like overdo it you know so now you have this now you can get these both of these layers and just comp them duplicate and then just bring it to the other eye right here we're gonna go back to the original we're gonna duplicate we're gonna bring all of that to the uh to the top and then we're gonna zoom in and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna mask the eyes so like this like this like this just like that and then we're gonna mask the other one so now we have this and it probably looks the same to you like it made no change and if you look at it it's literally the same thing right so what you're gonna want to do is go to this layer and then just invert them and then on the second mask as you can see is disabled so basically just press intersect so right here it's over the eye so what you want to do is get the eyes and put it on top and boom to add a little bit more of an effect we can go to veins and add a drop shadow now don't make it too dark you know what i'm saying like it's gonna look weird so i'll just have the distance at one a softness about i'll just keep it right there and i'll just put the opacity down it just makes it pop a little bit more you know now what we're gonna have to do is now we animate the eyes we're gonna have to make a layer on top of everything so the eyes would go on the bottom of that because if we go over to the eyes and we try and move them as you can see it literally goes on top so basically go back to the original we're going to duplicate again we're going to bring it to the top and we're going to make a mask just on top so basically it's just going to be on top of his eye like this and then just go like this right so once you have this you can create another mask just like that just like this and just go like this if we look at it boom that's how it looks that's perfect so now that means if we go to the eye layer and try and move it as you can see it goes under his eyes it goes under his skin basically not on top you know but now the next step is to basically animate them to do that put a keyframe go a couple frames forward to whenever you want it to stop and then we're gonna bring the position levels up it wouldn't normally go just straight up like that because his face is kind of tilted sideways so we're gonna have to go a little bit this way so so if we replay it's basically going straight up for him you know says so you know you can have it just like that or you can add a graph as you can see 
it's just easy and then we're gonna move this a little bit forward we're gonna enable motion blur and boom you basically have your transition of his eyes rolling back you can of course adjust how fast you want the eyes to roll back um, but that's all up to you just know whenever you're making the transition the small little details won't really matter because when you add transitions it's gonna add motion blur and you can barely see it. but yeah other than that um i hope you guys have a good day you can follow me on twitch i'll be streaming over there we be we be late not gonna lie like we literally just do anything but one thing that i do ask y'all to do is like the video bro like it takes literally no time a lot of people say my tutorials are easy to follow so you know i appreciate the feedback um if you have any more video ideas or things you would want to learn comment them down below and yeah that's pretty much it i'll see you guys next time hopefully really soon um yeah